Pop up, pop, 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 persuadable. What's going on, everybody? So, this is going to be a pro perfumer guide. I would consider myself a perfumer user as well as a thief user. Um, going to show you a lot of the things to do with perfumer, her, her strengths, her weaknesses, etc. And we'll also go over the persona build and what her ideal build is and why I consider my build to be better than other builds. <laughs> It sounds, it sounds a little cocky, right? But uh, I just want you guys to know my, my, my train of thought with her. So really, one of the biggest things is, is that the argument is, is that do you build her up with Tide Turner to be an additional saver or do you build her uh, with Borrowed Time? And I'll show you the persona tree. And the only way, in my opinion, to really use her is with Borrowed Time. She's a kiter and there's going to be moments where you're kiting or doing a five cipher kite and you need the ability to adapt with that and also furthermore you need to be healed so this is one persona build that i have i like to have the increase in crouch speed um which i'll show you guys in a second um so we're gonna obviously have a broken window and then we're going to borrow time that you guys see there so that disturbance gives you that movement speed um it, it really does help if you're if you're you know trying to lose the hunter and you can you know kind of crawl a little bit or crawl off of a uh, of a cypher if you're you know putting distance and kind of confuse them but i'll show you the other persona build that i think is more viable if you're a newer player and this is for people who kind of get captured a little little easier or for individuals who have you know who are still learning the kite that gives you vision or your team vision when you get put on a rocket chair everybody can see each other so i actually think that this is the real persona tree for for the majority of users until you get really really good at kiting and you don't really have to worry about being the first one on the chair as often um so either persona build will work this is the one that i would prefer for many users as well um, including myself in top rank play if i'm playing against you know the you know the top two hunters top three hunters um they're good they can get me so i want to make sure that when they do get me or if they get me my team can see each other so this is the ideal persona build uh, i have other videos on personas uh, talking about each persona but for the most part i wanted to give you what i what i consider to be the strongest suit for for the perfumer all right so i'm going to show you realistic gameplay uh, this is a real match against a real hunter not a custom match and i'm going to show you how i actually play her and then towards the end of the video i'll show you some trick moves that you can use with her and uh, other things that you can do but one of the things with the biggest question with perfumer is when do i activate my perfume and really you want to use perfumer as a tight kiter like anybody else and sometimes when you activate your perfume you're not going to be pulling off a, a miraculous sort of, uh, let's say, move. Sometimes when you're tight kiting, if you think they're going to hit you, it's okay to use your perfume. And, and, and I'm going to show you that in this match. There's going to be times where you're like, didn't you just waste your perfume? And the answer is no. There, there are moments when the hunter honestly could have hit me or maybe would not have hit me. The point of the perfume was for me not to find out. And if it occurred, then I can use my perfume to kind of go backwards. So I'm going to show you. And so I used my perfume right there right away. I knew she was going to hit me. Right. So I'm going to continue tight cutting. All right. And I'm hugging this palette. Right. We know that this is how you count out with the geisha. And I'm actually going to use another perfume relatively soon. I felt like she was going to be able to hit me here. And she did not hit me, and I don't consider me wasting my perfume. Now, you might say, oh, well, you just wasted your perfume. No, because if that was a, a top hunter, they could have. there was a very good chance that they could have hit me there. So I want to show you. I'm showing you the unmiraculous gameplay where sometimes you're just using your perfume and it doesn't pan out. I think one of the problems with perfume users is that they try to become too conservative with their perfume. They're trying to wait for the perfect moment to use perfume. You can't do that. The point of perfume is to make you avoid hits. And so when you're tight kiting like this, and this is what tight kiting and palette looping is, um, you really don't want to take that hit. There's, if you take a hit, it's because you misjudged your perfume. You were being too conservative with the perfume. And I'm going to also show you other times when I do miraculous sorts of saves and I use manipulation depending on whether they're using confined space. 
But I'm showing you the typical game. This is a typical game with me using perfumer. And like I said, there's going to be moments where your perfume makes you do some sort of awesome sort of montage-like video. But most of the time, it's unmiraculous uh, things. It, 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 sometimes you use it, and like I said, somebody could have looked at me and said, oh, well, why did you use your, your perfumes? You just wasted them. No, because again, and I'm going to really emphasize this point, at any point in time, she could have hit me. And I made sure that if that happened, I could continue. Because my job right now is to live as long as possible. She is an early game character, right? So the difference between her and Magician, a lot of people say who is better. Magician's better late game. Magician is hands down better late game. Because he can actually use his illusions to help him get away late game. That's very difficult to do against a hunter with detention with the Perfumer. So it's very simple. Perfumer is way better than Magician early game. But the magician is way better late game, so it's really about it's really about how you use these uh, characters. So uh, if you pay attention, you'll notice that typically. So she teleported off of me. Really, there's a few things I want to emphasize with the videos that you guys just saw, or the video that you just saw. Um, one of the things is, is that she is a confined area kiter. You don't you want to stick to those tight areas. You want to stick to the palette. You want to stick to Lupin. And you want to use your perfume ideally when you're looping. And that's the best way to use her. Because if you are hit, then at that point you can just use your perfume and you're on the other side of the loop and you give yourself some distance. Using it in open area can be a very, uh, it can be dangerous. It's a last resort. So typically, how do you play her? I keep, I'm going to try not saying the word typically. <laughs> uh, a lot of people ask, how do you play her? You play her by playing in tight, tight areas and you play her looping. So... That is why when I came out with the YouTube tight chitin video, how to use pallet looping, how to tighten chitin, uh, or rather chitin tight areas, it's absolutely necessary when you're playing a magician or you're playing her. Um, so again, one of the things I want you to also notice is that when I'm playing the geisha, I throw the pallet down and I wait. Now you see right there, one of the biggest things that people don't understand about chitin is that when you go through a pallet you immediately need to hug the wall if you've noticed every time i go through a pallet i don't just keep running straight i immediately take a sharp turn and i'm hugging the wall and that is how i'm able to avoid a lot of her hits if you just run straight then it's going to be a disaster for you and if you just run straight then she's going to be able to dash so it's a hard counter to geisha where once you go through a pallet your main priority is to make a sharp hook. You need to hook, you need to hug that wall for two reasons. If she tries to attack you, she's gonna hit the wall. If she tries to dash you, she's not going to get anywhere. Her dash, so make sure you rewind that gameplay a little bit and really pay attention to my, my chitin movements there, where whenever I'm going through a pallet, I'm immediately turning to the side. And if they try to dash me, then their dash isn't gonna go through the object. And if they try to hit me, they hit a wall. And that's really how you have to do it. Don't just keep going straight. You're going to give her enough room to dash through the pallet or dash through the open area. You really want to keep that circular motion going. Now I'm going to show you some other times where I use the perfume in more miraculous ways, whether it's to save, whether it's to trick the hunter. But I really wanted to do this guide as realistic as possible. This is the sort of perfume use you're going to use. Sometimes you have to use it and you're going to feel like you're wasting it, but it's better to do that than the to not use it and get hit so here i'm going to show more of a, a trick shop it's not a trick shop but more of a trick move with her so i obviously like to cut the most on my team uh that's how i was able to climb to the top leaderboard so i like to be in this dangerous area this is a dangerous area in, in, in the church uh, well a relatively dangerous area so this is why i'm just kind of being dumb and i'm just standing here if you're new to the game or you're still learning don't use this machine but i have two exit strategies i have the window that i'm looking at and i have the wi uh, another window behind me so it's going to really depend on where he approaches me I have two main exit strategies here and i'm actually going to show you a trick when the hunter uses confined space so confined space is whenever they hop through a window they put up a fence most of us know what that is against a perfumer it is a horrible move to have that sort of persona trick and i'm going to show you why so i'm going to show you a moment where the hunter comes after me i activate my perfume i climb the window i look behind me and i see that he has confined space and then i immediately activate my perfume and now 
I'm on the other side of the window again with a wall or a wooden fence that he can't get through. So I'm gonna see if he comes after me. So yeah, he's gonna come after me. So here is when I'm gonna activate it, right? I'm gonna activate it, I'm gonna climb it. Now if he waits, I keep running, but I see him climb and watch that. You see that? Now he can't come after me. He's just barricaded himself. So sometimes what you need to do is use your perfume and just keep running right you really want to see what the hunter is doing and it's important that you're looking behind you using that camera angle and that's really really important because that's going to tell you what do i do here do i go back to my perfume right or do i just keep running and use your perfume as, as somewhat of a distance marker some hunters will camp it and some perfumers they feel obligated to always use their perfume and, and to use it to its full potential don't do that. Sometimes you're going to waste your perfume if you if you think they're going to hit you and then they don't. That's okay. It's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, like I said, the biggest mistake that perfume users do is they try to get fancy or they try to be too conservative with their perfume. You have three of them. There's never going to be a perfect time to always constantly use them. Use them. If you think that they're going to hit you, use it. And if they didn't hit you, great. But if they do hit you, then now you can take the shot. So do not be conservative with the perfume. That is a rule. <laughs> going forward, that is a rule. And then, of course, I'm going to show you, as, as you can see, I'm just kiting normal now, right? Just kiting like a normal player. And I have run out. I think I have one more perfume that I can use. So I'm going to see what he does here. He decides to follow me. And just really put that distance between him and I. And right here, I know I have another perfume. I know that he's wasting his time so the exit gates are open sorry about that my dog was barking i figured i should leave that so again you're gonna see me do this trick i know he has confined space and he's really tunneling me right now so i'm gonna use it again right even if i don't know if he's gonna come right so okay i'm stuttering i know that he just hopped and we're gonna use that now you could make the argument why did you go back well i went back because i knew that my team unlocked this door over here um, if you didn't use, or if I didn't use my perfume right there, it still would have been okay because I still had my boost. So I was able to put a lot of distance between him, but I know that he had confined space, so I decided to just go back and easy exit from here. So I'm going to show you another clip. You're going to actually think this is useless, and it kind of is, but I want to really emphasize. So here I am, I'm running in here. I wanted the body block, and so I used my perfume just in case he decides to hit me. Right? He decided not to hit me and he decided to use his blink. So you may say, don't you feel like you just wasted your perfume? No. The point is, is you don't want to be conservative, right? Especially with your perfume. It doesn't mean just effortlessly use it or needlessly use it. But you, you need to use it in moments where there's the probability of him hitting you. And sometimes it, you don't think you're wasting it. So here's me doing a rescue. I'm going to show you how I do my rescue. Um, this is a nice easy rescue, but then I make sure I body block. So I body block and then I use my perfume and then I make them hit me again, right? So I was able to body block, I was able to rectify, uh, render it as obsolete with the perfume and then he hit me once. That's still successful, but the coordinator was able to get away. And that's what, now watch this, he's going, I'm a one hit kill. Watch me use my perfume when he charges me and use it, watch this, use it, boom. See how I made him miss? And you have that capability with perfumer. And it takes a lot of practice. And the main thing that you need to do is you need to really make sure that you're looking behind you whenever you use using your perfume. I'm a one-shot kill. So because I timed that correctly, I can make sure that when he starts to charge me, I put down my perfume right away. I, you have that one-second delay. And then you activate it again and he'll continue running forward. That is the only way that you can use your ability uh, end game in order to avoid dying. Although with detention, um, it wouldn't be a one shot kill if the rocket dash hit. But I want to show you some more footage of uh, other things as well. So here's another quick snippet. She's running after me and she charges me. And she not so my teammate is down, so I'm just trying to harass a little bit. So I put my perfume down, she hits, and then see how I'm I, now, if I wanted to, I was hoping that she would come towards me. That's why I ran over here, um, but she didn't follow me. And, and I was hoping that she would kind of tunnel in on me so my teammate could heal. Now I'm going to show you one of the, my pr probably one of my most favorite moments ever. Like ever, me of uh, being perfumer. So my teammate goes down. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go and try to rescue him. This is one of my proudest moments. Shout out to 12. So I'm going to, 
I make sure I put a little bit of space between me and her and tight kite. Harass her a little bit by pretending I'm healing. And I'm going to kind of really go around this a little bit. Waste some time. Uh, no reason at all. And I'm going to show you how to do a, a, a save. And this is all, almost like the ultra instinct of the moonwalk. So just watch what happens. This is amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait here, right? And, you know, we'll just see. We'll be a little patient. See what she does. See if she makes a move. She doesn't want to make a move, so I'll have to make my move. And I'll activate my my perfume. I'll let her hit me. I'll save. Use my perfume again. So watch. She hits me. I save. And then I hit the perfume. All right? So watch this. Now I'm body blocking. Right? I have full health. I have every right to body block. And now he's moonwalking. And this is just one of the funniest moments. And, and the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because, really, you need to make sure that you're body blocking your teammates when you go for the save, right? Don't just run away and panic, right? So we both know that if I get hit once, that's really our cue to, to get away. And this is one of my favorite moments of the entire gameplay. Out of 2,000 games, I mean, he's just moonwalking her. Yep, so he flash stunned her. He just flashed on her. So I'm still trying to body block him. I don't want to leave him. And now we're able to safely get into this area. And I'm still going to body block a little bit. I use my perfume here again, right? Because I don't know. Oh, wait, did I use that? Actually, I don't even remember if I used that. And the exit gate's open. And we're able... He should... I, I did tell 12 he should not have exited through the front door like that. But I was able to, you know, block her charge. And now I'm waiting for her to see if she comes after me. And, you know, she decides not to. But remember, when you save, you do have saving potential with her. And that's how you really want to do it. Activate your perfume. And you have a few seconds to really figure out when do you go for the save. And uh, if you do take a hit, then you can perfume back. And, and now that's good for everyone. And here's me getting my butt kicked. Yeah, I, yep, I got my butt kicked. <laughs> that was still an awesome save, though. All in all, guys, um, Perfumer is definitely a character that I would main before the Thief. I think that Perfumer is actually better than Thief if you know how to use her. As you guys can see, I can tight kite without relying on Bolton all the time. Um, regardless of the whole Volton speed bonus that Thief has, the Perfumer is just way more versatile early game. And if you really use her correctly, her, her ability to save is definitely better than the Thief. And her ability to kite is definitely better than the Thief because she essentially has three boo-boo skills. I call them three boo-boo skills. Um, therefore, she is definitely more versatile. In fact, Perfumer should be on every single team just like a coordinator is. It, it, it's in my humble opinion that if you're missing a Perfumer, your, your game is or your team is definitely significantly missing an important crucial asset. Sure, the Thief has the flashlight where he can really go against the Geisha pretty hard, and I'll give that to him. And he does have a Volton bonus, but overall, I do categorize Perfumer as better than Thief because she has three boo-boo, she has more survivability, she has the ability to rescue better than the Thief, and she's more versatile. Um, so I, got, I hope you guys really enjoyed the gameplay. The gameplay is real gameplay against real hunters. And just to really show you, don't be too conservative with the perfume. It's okay to use it. Because ultimately, you don't want to find out if you get hit and then think, man, I should have used the perfume. There are going to be instances where you get really, when you get really good at tight kiting, you pretty much know when you're going to get hit. And so and the prerequisite to her is really getting that pallet looping and that tight kiting down. And really being able to judge when you need to use the perfume. But at the end of the day, even if you feel like you're using it uselessly, it's better to use it than to not use it. And now you're a one-shot kill after that. So that is the biggest mistake that users are using with her. They, they think that there's going to be some glorious moment every single time you use the perfume. That's, that's not how it works. And you're supposed to use her by staying in very, very tight areas. Everyone's asking me for a magician guide. Literally just take this, play the same exact way, and substitute perfume for illusion. And essentially you have almost nearly the same identical gameplay. So these are how, this is how you play these sorts of characters. And if you continue practicing the tight cut and you will continue to get better and better and improve your game, you'll get better at saving people. And you'll even get so good that you'll be able to use your ability to a charging clown and not take a hit. You won't be perfect all the time, just like an illusion is never perfect all the time, and it's a mind game between you and the hunter, but at the end of the day, stay in tight areas, lots of pallets, you will be able to kite somebody for a very, very long time. 
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please post your questions. Hope to see you on Twitch soon. And we got a lot of things coming for the YouTube. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.